Hi everyone! In this video I will explain how to solve the musical puzzle from the map 7 of Jump Wat. And this puzzle is very cool, so if you haven't played this Wat yet, please go play it, uh, it's incredible. If you are in the middle of it, I also strongly recommend to try to solve this puzzle yourself first and only watch the explanation if you are completely stuck. Or maybe watch it if you have already solved the puzzle but you took some hints for some steps or you just want a deeper understanding of how this puzzle works. I've also tried to structure this explanation in such a way that you may pause the video at any point uh, and only get one hint you needed and then progress from where you were stuck and solve the rest of the puzzle yourself. Ok, let's begin. So to even access this puzzle you need to beat this map and get a final rating of A or S. Then you will get access to this room uh, with the puzzle mechanism. This room has 7 buttons with numbers from 1 to 7 and one button that says open. And on your way to this room you'll see the sign saying 8 notes total. So there are 8 notes hidden in the various parts of the map. By the time you get to the puzzle you'll probably already find some of these notes. Uh, they look like this. Now you need to find all 8 of them and write down these numbers. I won't show their locations, uh, just the numbers, so 82, 46, 73, 52, 10, 91, 31 and 93. Those are all of the notes and some of them can only be found after you have access to the puzzle itself. So that's basically the quote unquote easy part done. Now comes the harder and more obscure part of the puzzle. Uh, what do those numbers mean and what should we do with them? Well. The notes suggest that the puzzle is musical, so we shall search for the hints in some music. And the main reference point we have at this moment is the music that's playing right now, the MIDI of MAP7. This MIDI is oct17-rare.mid uh, that was composed by Ribix, who is also the author of MAP7 of this world. Now, there's pretty much three official ways uh, to get this MIDI of the song. Uh, first is to check the Rebix YouTube channel where he posts his midis, uh, second is to check his website and third is to extract it from the WAT files using WAT editor like Slate. Let's start from Rebix YouTube channel. And on his video with this song you'll immediately see something curious in the description. If you are here to talk to Bear, please consult the latest version on rebix.net slash midi. So yeah, we are on the right track, this media does uh, really have something to do with the puzzle. Now on Rubik's website you can see that this media, which uh, is originally from 2020 I think, uh, was updated in June 2022, right when Jump What came out. Uh, and this also suggests we are on the right track. Let's download this MIDI and let's open this MIDI in the MIDI editor. I will use Guitar Pro for this example because uh, I think it's good for the visual demonstration, but most of the media editors will do. What you immediately notice is that there are 10 tracks in this MIDI and one of the tracks is called What's the Mystery? So we are right to look into this MIDI and this is the track that we need to look at. And before we proceed let's also open Jump What in Slate and let's find the track that plays in Map 7. The name should be D shown. And looking at this MIDI from Slate, we can also see that the track number 4 has What's the Mystery title. And now let's get to the next step. What do these numbers 82, 46, 73, etc. mean for this track? And well, the very fitting idea is that those are bar numbers, or to be more correct, measure numbers, uh, of the MIDI. So this MIDI has uh, 101 measure, and the numbers from 10 to 93 fit very well into the whole range of the MIDI. Let's take a look at those measures. Measure 10 from track number 4 has only one note in it, a note B. Let's write it down. Now measure 31 also only has one note, G sharp. Now if you check all of the measures, you'll notice that all of them contain only one note, with one exception, measure 73. And there is a curious thing about it. In the MIDI from the WAT files, this measure has three notes. Now, in the updated version from the Rubik site, there is only one note, note A, which was the first note in the original version. So, Rubik's probably did change that uh, in order to make it less confusing for the people solving this puzzle. And it also confirms that our hypothesis that numbers in the game uh, mean measure numbers in the MIDI uh, is correct. So, let's write down all of the notes in the corresponding measures. Measure 10 has note B, 
measure 31 has note G sharp, 46 is E, 52 is A, 73 is A again, 82 is G sharp, 91 is F sharp, and 93 is C sharp. Ok, so what do we do with these notes? And well, let's look at this puzzle again. The puzzle requires us to input a code with numbers from 1 to 7. And coincidentally, there are 7 notes in a musical scale, so A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Just to clarify, actually there are scales with different numbers of notes, and there is actually a huge variety of the ways you can form a musical scale, but those most familiar to us, like major scale or minor scale, they have 7 notes. And well, this MIDI is also written in a classic western harmony with a 7 note scale. So, assuming these numbers represent the number of the note in a scale, which scale should we use for that? And, well, let's look at those original numbers again. One of them, number 93, is encircled. Number 93 note is C sharp, and if you look at all of the notes, all of them are part of the C sharp minor scale. Let's see the C sharp minor scale. So, it starts from C sharp, then goes D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, a, B, and then back to C sharp. Okay, so let's write down the numbers of all notes we have, considering we are in a C sharp minor scale. In other words, let's determine scale degrees of these notes in C sharp minor scale. The first note B is 7th degree, the G sharp is 5th degree, the E is 3rd, uh, and so on. And in result we get this picture. Now, the way we find these numbers in the map itself, uh, it suggests no particular order. So, let's just start from the earliest measure, measure number 10, and then go in increasing order so we follow song's progress. And we'll get the code 7536641. And now to test this, you need to press these buttons in the puzzle room itself in that order and then hit open button. And spoilers ahead, something will indeed open. And I will not spoil the rest, uh, you should check it out for yourself. And that's the solution to the puzzle. Very cryptic, but also very cool and incredibly satisfying. And I guess knowing musical theory is not required to solve this puzzle, but it definitely makes the final steps easier. So I hope this explanation was helpful, and uh, see you later!